memories with Meg. Meg! I'm gonna say I was 14 years old. That was 10 years ago. 10! And one week after a church youth activity, some friends and I were playing basketball. Of the people who were playing basketball with us, it was me, my best friend who was a girl, and then like four guys. Actually, we were playing speed. It's not like we were playing like two on three or something. That not not good enough for that. But speed is one game I can actually like get an edge on people because all you have to do is make your foul shots. In case you're wondering, NBA, yes, I am available. So we were playing speed, and it was down to the last like four of us ish. And the guy I was shooting against was this like huge kid. He was a year older than we are. Fifteen is so old. And he was super tall in comparison to my super short. And I was shooting against him. And specifically, I was behind him as we were shooting. So if I made my shot, he was set to get out, making me the champion. My dreams. So we start shooting. We both miss our first shot, naturally. And we're racing around, trying to get the ball in the hoop. I'm trying to get him out. He's trying to not get out. At some point, we both end up underneath the hoop. It's close at this point. We're both on the same side. We're both really determined to make this layup. And it's kind of the whoever makes this shot is going to either get the person out of the game or move forward. Really important stuff. So we're both on the right side underneath the hoop. We're both trying to get the layup. My ball is on the ground. His ball is in his hands. I turn... And I pick my ball up off the ground, and I turn to shoot. He's already up. He's got his ball in the air shooting. He shoots his ball, and I come up underneath him trying to get my ball around his. He releases his ball and comes down, and his arm goes whack right into my nose. Now, I released my ball. If I remember correctly, I missed. But I didn't care that much because I was on the ground. There had been a faint crunch as he hit me with his elbow. Really, coming down full force, like WHAM! The people's elbow! So I hit the ground and trying not to like cry in front of all of these friends, especially the male friends of whom I was interested. I try to call to my best friend, like, dude, come on, you need to come help me, we gotta go. And she looks at me and she kind of like, but I'm winning. You're kidding me. Like, what's funnier about it is how classic her that is. Like, ah, oh, my best friend broke her nose, but I might win. I'm just kidding, I love you. So I, still trying to suck the tears back into my face, you know how hard that is when you've been hit in the nose. It hurts. I grab her by the arm and I drag her into the bathroom with me. We get into the bathroom and the only thing that I can think, my mom is gonna kill me if my nose is broken. I don't know why that's every kid's like first thought. Like, I don't think my mom would have cared so much as been like, okay, let's take you to the doctor. Whatever. Teenage logic. It hurts really bad underneath the bridge, and I couldn't really breathe very well. It wasn't bleeding. I've never had a bloody nose. That's a that's a fact about me. But I'm pretty darn sure it was broken. I never made it to the doctor to find out, but what ended up happening is my best friend who had broke her nose knew that you had to pop it back into place. So we're in the bathroom with our teenage medical expertise. And my nose, I'm sure, looks something like that. And she just grabs it. Heart. Like a mother. Heart. But it was one of those things where, like, it hurts for a second, but then it's immediate relief. I don't know if any of you have had to pop fingers back into place or anything. It's, it's like that. Eventually, actually, after about ten minutes of, like, recouping in the bathroom, we went back out and started playing basketball again. Why not? The moral of that story is to be a good friend and let your friend finish her game if she's winning at speed. I am just kidding. If your friend breaks their nose, you leave your game. You help them. That is important. Fun fact, my church basketball team won the toilet bowl of the basketball championship. So your team plays other church teams from the same area, and then if you beat all of them, you go to games for church teams from all over the area. And we lost our first game, but it was double elimination or something. I don't know how they did it. But we won all of the games after that, and so we did not win, like, the championship. But we won, I'm sure it would be the equivalent of the bronze medal, because we won the loser bracket. I was proud. I have a trophy somewhere. I'm proud because I am five... Well, at the time I was probably more like 5-1. This has been tangential. Also, I got new socks for Christmas. You wanna see? Of course you do. How am I gonna do this? <sighs> you see them? They're Jigglypuff. Oh,